18. And now I've, I've played it a lot more as well and I've been able to go through a fair bit. So let's let's start that now. Let's go through my review for NBA 2K18. Um, I think this should be a little bit interesting. So basically what we'll do, we'll start off with um, how the game looks. Uh, and, that, and that's going to be graphics. And that, they look good. Because this is my simple thing in my whole review. It looks real good. Uh, the players do look a lot better than previous iterations, which I think is a massive improvement. Um, so in terms of graphical wise, it's great. Um, I really couldn't complain about that at all. So we'll give that a, a, a good good rating out of 10. I don't really have a specific one. But this is where we go into the big thing, and that is game modes. So um, and, and what they've added to the actual game and the actual content of what you're actually buying. So. Um, first of all, play now, um, you know, regular thing, they've added a lot more teams, so adding all-time great teams, which is pretty cool. Um, some of those teams aren't exactly accurate thanks to, obviously, rights issues and stuff like that, but that's not too bad. I think it's still pretty fun. Uh, I know myself and a couple of friends have already played around quite a lot with the all-time teams, and uh, we have loved them, and especially the new classic teams as well. So, in terms of that way, absolutely awesome. Um, now onto the next part, which is the My Career, which is this is the mode where you play as a single person and go through the story mode for the game. Um, there, there are a lot of things. So My Career has changed now into this uh, thing called the Neighborhood, where basically an online lobby where you walk around. That's where you can go to your training facility, your home. Um, you can go to Foot Locker. You can go to all these different places, and it's all linked into one. So you can go and play on the court against other players. Or you can just go to your phone and you can go to um, your next game for your My Career. Now, the My Career um, does focus around a guy named DJ. He isn't just called DJ for a cool name. He used to be a DJ and left and then basketball to become one and then stopped that and became a basketball player again. To be honest, the story is pretty bad. It's not something that is good or enjoyable at all. Um, I'd much rather a, a more blank state um, where you're able to really just grow your own player and be your own thing. I think that's a lot more fun. Um, I'm not a huge fan, uh, again, this, this last year, and again, they've, they've put in, I'm going to drop something, they've put in a, another player into the game, another fake player, to be your friend throughout the game. Don't like that, to be honest. Uh, it feels forced. I understand that's the easy way for them to not have to try and get a, a pl an actual player in to do a lot of voice acting. Uh, to be honest, we don't need to have a player with you, you know, asking you to do stuff and, and being your friend. Um, it would just be nice just to be by yourself, you know, grow yourself, and that's how it is. Um, you do have a a friend with you as well. Uh, her name is B. She is annoying. She is useless, and I wish she didn't exist in the game. She makes a lot of the, um, the cutscenes extremely cringy and just not fun to watch. The cutscenes can sometimes be okay. It can sometimes be terrible. I do find myself sometimes waiting a bit too long to just go in and out of a game because of these cutscenes, because there seems to be one every game. Saying that, some of them have been entertaining. Not all of them are terrible. Um, there's a character named Boo Boo. He actually is kind of cool. I don't mind him at all. I actually quite like him. The rest of the characters, not a fan of at all, to be honest. Um, but, you know, the, the cutscenes aren't as huge as they were last year, so I think that's an improvement. Um, so, at least there's that. Um, other than that, a little other changes they made to my career is the way you change your attributes. Now, this part I really like. Last year, it was all blanket stats that you just had to go over. This year, you do have a lot more individual things you can choose. So you can say, okay, I want my, you know, this to be better, this to be better, and you can choose that, and that's a lot better. It's still somewhat blanketed, but it's not entirely blanketed as it was last year. So stat improvement is a lot better, and it's a lot nicer. Um, now, they have increased, I believe, in the last patch as well. The ability now to see what you're increasing, which is really good. Um, so that's something new, which was definitely needed and wasn't in the first original uh, release of NBA 2K18. Um, so other than that, there are a couple of things I'd love to see them improve. Um, and these things, I mean, they, they make a big difference. In that. And first of all, it is definitely, definitely the ability to run faster um, in, the, in the playground because it is slow. You want to go from where you spawn, which is the Allen Iverson statue, to the 2K place where you can play, you know, mini games and stuff. Where you're about to run for another minute, minute and a half. It's just very, very 
tedious, it's very slow, it would be nice to have you know, a faster run, especially these guys are, you know, they're athletes and they're, they're walking everywhere. So it's a, that's a little annoying. Uh, the other thing that I, I wasn't a huge fan of was the headphone thing. It's, it's cool in a way. It's a cool idea. Like if you put your headphones on, that's why you're listening to music. You can't skip any music while you've got it on. Uh, I think that's the really shitty part. You really want, if I put no headphones on, I want to be able to change my music and I can't do that. So that part's, pretty crappy and not really well designed. Um, if you could change music to us, it wouldn't be that bad. Um, the soundtrack actually is pretty good for the game. I um, have thoroughly enjoyed it, the mix of newer stuff, older stuff. Um, and, and one of the cool things is Kendrick Lamar's Humble uh, plays sometimes as a pre-game thing, just like it did in the actual NBA playoffs last year. So that's absolutely awesome. I've been a few times playing with friends where it comes on and you just get real hyped up. And you're like, yeah, this is really cool. So that has been a lot of cool things. The other big thing they need to change is they need to add a mini map. There have been times where you get a, a text on your phone and it goes, hey, um, intense, can you please go to go to the, the, this place? Um, and you're like, okay, cool. Where is this place? Because it doesn't tell you anywhere. There's no mini map. There's no way to know where anything is on this open playground. Um, so a mini map would have been a really, really good thing because um, it is quite frustrating sometimes going, okay, uh, wait, oh, I do have a, a place I can go to that I can, that's my own court. I didn't know there was an own court. So there's a few things I didn't even know until we got there. So that's kind of crappy. Um, but if they added that, to be honest, I've got no other real big qualms with the my career. Um, would like to be broken down even more in terms of the attributes, but it's in the right direction. It's been fun so far. I've been enjoying it. Um, so that's that's pretty good. Um, on to more modes, you're looking at my gym and my, my league, to be honest, hasn't changed too much. There's been a couple of little changes in terms of signing guys and stuff in the off season, but other than that, pretty much the same thing. So that's always just going to be your, your good fun um, and not really much to go into there. My team has changed a lot, though. My team has changed a ton. So my team has changed to add more modes and changed current modes. So my team online is now called Supermax. Uh, where you have a salary cap and um, you basically your every play you have is cost a certain amount and you have to use all of them in one team to create a, a team under the salary cap and versus other players. Um, really good idea. Um, it's not really uh, implemented amazingly. Um, there are a lot of players that are weirdly uh, priced, so it doesn't really make sense. Um, so that's one part which I think it, it needs to be improved on um, and made. It can be a good mode. I can see potential in it if they will keep at it next year and and make it better, which knowing 2K in previous iterations, they probably won't, they'll probably change it again, but it's not too bad. Um, now the draft mode pack and playoffs, I do enjoy. Um, I think the idea of just choosing random plays is quite a lot of fun. I think it'll be a lot better later in the year when you have different, a lot of different cards that you can you can pull from and not just, you know, a little bit. I find a lot of times when I've either done it or I've watched other people do it online, a lot of the same plays are popping up. So um, it would be good to see um, that just later on the end, I reckon that'll be good. So uh, I have heard though, the rewards are not amazing for pack and playoffs, so be wary in that sense. But hey, extra content is extra content. Uh, and speaking of extra content, the amount of offline content is incredibly large compared to last year. Now, as someone who used to play a lot of it on PC, don't really get um, a lot of um, offline content. So, um, it was pretty crappy last year. The offline content was terrible. This year is a lot better. Um, so this year you basically get 900 challenges straight off the bat. One, basically a whole 30 for every single team um, in the NBA and then extra ones added each week, which I think is amazing. It gives you a really good chance to just play a lot of offline stuff, um, which I do enjoy a lot. So I've really loved that part of it. Domination has grown as well. And that's where you verse every team in the league and then historic, historic teams and then all-time teams. Um, that's really good too. So I really enjoyed that. Um, so I don't really enjoy the rewards for domination. You only get these three Ameth amethyst plays. It seems like you get all three um, and you just choose when you want them. So that I think would be a lot more fun if it was about triple to the amount of plays and you could really choose and there was a good choice in it. If you you know fucked up, you got the wrong one, you got the wrong one like last year. So that's something I would like to see changed a little bit. Um, the reward side of things, but in any, but in any case, I do love the amount of offline challenges there are. So that's really, really good. Um, now, other than that, um, that's pretty much all the modes summarized, um, but the big thing is gameplay. Uh, how does it feel? How does it run? 
it runs well, but a lot of problems with shooting. A lot, a lot of problems with shooting. Um, layups and dunks are terrible. Um, it, it's really hard to score in this game, which isn't, it isn't a bad thing. I don't mind if it gets harder to score. I was really would love for it to be a little bit, um, a little bit more realistic in terms of scoring layups and stuff, because there are some layups that are just ridiculous. If you don't get the right angle, you're not getting it in at all. Um, so that part has been pretty bad. It's been pretty glitchy. Um, so that would be a nice change. I was playing with a friend of mine, and when we played, the amount of times that he would just miss open shots, or I would just miss open shots, really made it crappy. You know, you could be wide open, get a good release, and then it just hits your back rim, back rim and goes out. That's not realistic. That's not very good. You don't want to have that in your game. So that part of it has been really disappointing, uh, to be honest. And I like you know this game could have been you know an eight or a nine out of ten in terms of what a sports game could be. Um, and because of that little thing, really, if that and some things that really have missed out in uh, both my team and my career, it's really brought it down a little bit. Listen, if you like. Um, sports games, you'll like basketball, you will like this game. It does take some getting used to, um, but there are a lot of redeemable features. Um, the shooting, again, isn't very good, but can be fixed, and also can be kind of be worked around, especially if you shoot a lot of threes, you can kind of get away from it. So, what I would do is I would give it about a 7 out of 10. It, it's still a very fun game, it's still a game I'm going to pour a lot of hours in, but it's not perfect. It's far from perfect, and it does need a lot of work and a lot of patches to really make it a much better game. So that is my review on NBA 2K18. Um, and yeah, hopefully if you guys get it and like it, let me know. Thank you. Okay, well that's the end of that. So hey, um, Led Mango and 